Hello, Paul Tranny here, and I'm excited to show you actually Cinema 4D Lite, which we actually have thrown in Creative Cloud. So if you're a Creative Cloud member, you have access to it, again, for free, Cinema 4D Lite, okay? Because we understand, honestly, that uh, the designers that are going to stand out are going to know other technologies. They're going to know 3D, or they have to be amazing photographers. Nonetheless, it's this 3D element that can really help you stand out. Now, how do we access Cinema 4D Lite? Well, uh, to be honest with you, you're not going to be able to get to it if you go into your Applications folder, right? So it's not going to be in here. So don't worry about, you're not going to be able to find it in there. You have to link to it from After Effects because that's usually where these compositions are being placed. So File, New, and then Launch Maxon Cinema 4D file. So you're creating a new file. It will then launch Maxon Cinema 4D or Cinema 4D Lite if you don't have Cinema 4D. So in essence, Cinema 4D Lite gives you everything that you need to create the basics for Cinema 4D. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump in here and just add some text. So I'll just type in some text here, maybe change the font as you'd expect. Use Lust script, maybe center it. But this properties dialog really gives me all the properties for this particular object. As you can see, it's right here. We also have this nice little, well, this is like your layers panel. I can see it right here. Here's my text. And I do have my timeline down here, but I also have uh, materials that are going to be down there as well. Uh, and I can rotate around this text as well. And you can obviously see that it's flat. And what I need to do at this point is add a bevel. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to extrude. To extrude out this text. Now it's just added it here, but it hasn't applied it to this text. That's when I need to drag this right in there until we get that down arrow, release it, and now you can see that it's definitely part of the extrude. Now if I select the extrude, I can go into object, you know, and I can stretch it out if I want to. Or I could even use the scale tool and select it and scale it up and or down. But in general, that's roughly what I want. There's more I can do as I dive into extrude. Since this does say dope, I feel like I need to like kind of beef it up a little bit more. Um, increase the radius and the steps. That's more like it. That does look more uh, dope, if you will, overall. I can create a new material if I want to. As I've created this material, I can jump in and add all these various properties to uh, this material. In this case, I'm just going to add a gradient. And uh, I think I'm just going to change one color in here. I'm going to, again, keep this simple. You get the idea. You have full control, uh, reflectance, environment, all that fun stuff. Again, I'm just keeping this simple for the sake of this demo. And there we have something that says dope in uh, looks like a, a B sort of look to me. But nonetheless, that's all I want to do. I want to save this C4D file, okay? And as I go back into After Effects, you can see there's my type. Dropping it in here, you can see that it actually didn't render it, which is perfect because any changes that I make to this C4D file, by the way, anytime I want to change it, just hold down the uh, option key, jump in, and at this point, if I wanted to adjust the position of it, maybe it's facing that direction, saving it, going back in, and again, I didn't have to render it, but whenever I'm ready to, when I render out this timeline, that text is going to be rendered. Two things I didn't really focus on was cameras, because I can put cameras in my Cinema 4D file, and animation. So any animation in here will actually, I can track with this scene as well. But this is just an introduction to Cinema 4D Lite from After Effects, giving you that flexibility with 3D in After Effects. And uh, show me what you make uh, when you make it. Be great. Uh -huh.